Look at the whole affirmation process and the I times V equals R. The spirit of intent behind the word is more important than the word itself. And now all of us understand that in, a, in our own way. You know, the spirit of intent, the spirit behind the word. Now you and, you and I, you've been in places where someone says thank you and it makes you want to throw up. Because you know it's just... Something, and somebody else says thank you, and it really makes a take. And you've had people say, God bless you, and you think, yeah, right. And someone else says, God bless you, and it sends shivers down your back. So it's the spirit behind the word that gives the word power. The spirit behind the word. When you work with these kind of concepts, sometimes the word don't mean much. It's the spirit behind the word that makes a take for people. Because they know that the spirit is right. When I go in to talk to inmates in a prison, I talk to them about honesty. I talk to them about their responsibility to the community. But they know my spirit is right. They know that I care about them as an individual, but I also care about society and safety and people, families, and I don't play no games with them. But there's a fairy tale called The Wizard of Oz. You ever watch the movie The Wizard of Oz? And there's a young woman named Dorothy that lived in Kansas, and she was blown away in a windstorm. She landed in a strange land, and there was a lot of different kind of experiences. And she went, run into a couple of witches, one of which told Dorothy that there's a wizard that lives in the land of Oz that, that can, has the power to get you back to Kansas if you can find the wizard. So Dorothy took off to find the wizard and picked up three misfits, picked up a straw person who didn't have any brains. Then he picked up a, a tin man who had needed some oil, but then he also needed a heart. And then came to a lion, and the lion was a cowardly lion. You know, Bert Lahr plays that part. And, and, uh, but Dorothy and, the, and, the, and three misfits, they did all kinds of things that illustrated they had those qualities, but they didn't think they had them. And, and so they came, found the wizard, and the wizard was behind a canvas like that. And the wizard said... Uh, because of these wonderful things you've done for Dorothy, I'm going to solve your problems. And told the straw person, the reason you don't have any brains, you don't have no diplomas. And I have an extra diploma. So he gave the straw person a diploma, and the straw person was transformed. Just like that. The tin man said, the reason you don't have any heart, you don't tick. I've got a clock. He gave the tin man a clock, the clock ticked, and the tin man was transformed. And told the cowardly lion, the reason you're not brave is you don't have no medals. All brave people have medals. And I have an extra one. And gave the, the, the uh, lion the medal, and the lion was transformed. And the underlying theme of that story, fairy tale, is the wizard was a fake. But they didn't know it. So just ask yourself a question. How many fake wizards do you think there is in this country that are passing out information to people that take away their heart, take away their courage, take away their brains? 37 years ago, something like that, I went through a, this three-and-a-half-day curriculum on cognitive psychology. And you don't know what you don't know. It, it woke me up. And I, my first question was, why didn't I get this when I was 17? Now, I may not have listened, but I sure would have liked to have had the chance. But anyway, I was leaning up against a Cadillac. And this was Lou Tice, owned the Cadillac. It was his Cadillac. He had taught the seminar. And uh, I'd had some Cadillacs, but they weren't mine. And <laughs> Lewis, said, Lewis said to me, he said, Gordy, he said, you've got a, a doctorate degree in an area that nobody wants to pay for. He said, you combine your background and experience with these concepts and techniques, and he said, we can have an impact on the correctional system of America. And just like the cowardly lion or the, or the straw person, I believed him. I truly believed him. I didn't say, who the f are you? You're a football coach. What the f do you know about it? And I'm an ex-convict, and I got no education. I believed him. And today, I've got programs in prisons all over the world. <laughs> and it started from that one experience. 
So think about the power of words when you're talking to your children. The power of words when you're speaking to the people that you work around. And also that you and I become a whole bunch more skeptical about the people we listen to that profess to know the truth. I'm extremely skeptical. And I think there's an awful lot of people out there that are really negative wizards right now that we, you know, and we got to be very careful because the negative wizards begin to really get vocal about election time. That's the truth. Fear is a tremendous motivator. So you got to be careful who you let be your wizards. <laughs>